Hey friends, Anwar Sidana on this side and in this video lecture I'll be teaching you how can you make your own chatbot within just 5 minutes. So first of all what a chatbot is actually. So a chatbot is, so to explain this scenario let me give you a simple example like if two persons are chatting and the one person is sending messages and there's another person on the other side who's replying to the message of first person. So, but in case of chatbot, when the first person is sending messages or questions and there's not another person on the other side who is replying to him. It is the chat, it is the app itself who is replying to the queries of the user using the artificial intelligence. So this is what actually a chatbot is. So we are going to make our own chatbot in within just 5 minutes. So one of the best examples of chatbots are Google Allo app and, and Natasha of Ike. So to make your own chatbot, we'll be using Microsoft Cognitive Services, Microsoft QA Maker. So first of all, just open your browser and visit this link and just log into your Microsoft account. And if you don't have an a account on Microsoft, just make a new account on this. And after that, just to see the documentation, you can click here and this will tell you how to make your, your first QA Maker so just forget it i would be telling you in detail that how to make your own chatbot so first of all we are going to make our new service so just click on new service create new service so what a service would actually do it would just be giving you an api which you can use in your android or web app to uh, have a bot functionality inside your app so after that just service name you can name it whatever you want i would just name it q a bot okay so after that this service can only answers to the questions provided by you so actually we have to provide a knowledge base to this bot to this service so knowledge base actually is the question and answers to which it can only reply so it would be processing to the question provided by you using natural language processing actually different variants of a same question could be processed using natural language processing and and it would also it and then it would give the answers matched to a relevant question so after then you can uh, also upload question and answer manually in a written format in pdf doc or uh, notepad file or you can uh, uh, also upload it from the server so just for testing in testing purposes i would be using this question and answer for q and fact fact url i would just be using this fact url to uh, to for this and this would just automatically fetch this question and answer pair you can see that this question and answer pair from it uh, this is a, uh, oh, this is the fact URL for HIV AIDS to the questions of HIV AIDS. So I would just copy this and come to my service and just paste it here. So now after, uh, you can also add more than one URL. So after that, I would just would be perfect on the ones. Uh, after that, I would just click create. So just wait for a second it will take few seconds few more seconds so hola it has been created now to use it in your app you have to publish so till this till this step it has just processed the question and answers from this from that effect URL now after that just click on publish you can also test it here tests so uh, we would be testing inside our android app so just click publish so just wait for more few more seconds now here is it so just uh, this is the api it has given to us to use this board functionality inside our app so now just open android studio and make a new product project so i just made a new project named q and a bot so after that we would just make a button in this and when we click that button it would just make a call to this api and question would be whatever you want so i would just question i would just type a question that what is hiv so after that just go to this url 
and I'm not going to type the whole bunch of code so I would just copy it from my github link so after that just go to this URL and I would provide this URL in the details sections so after that just copy get text method from get text met method to the end so I would just copy this whole bunch of code now just paste it here so okay so I'll just paste it the whole code here so now just make a new button uh, on which uh, when we click on that button it would just be calling to that API to this API so now just go to your activity main and make a new button and give it a, give it an id equal to button so after that just go to your main activity and access this button so button b and now b is equal to find view by id r dot id dot button so sorry for that my android studio is just a bit slow so now after that just type cast, cast it now set the on click listener on this button b dot set on click listener okay so i can see that there is an error so just go i think think there is an error of a packet so just type in the packet so that's it so after that just an on click method just make a new object of the tree feed task so first of all let me explain you what this code is actually doing so i first of all i made a new class a new inner class called retrieve fit task which is extending async task so this is this is just this is just uh, used to make a call from the background thread so this is uh, this is the new class and for inside this on do in background uh, method i have just called this method get text so what get text is actually doing in get text i have just made a post request to the url provided by your service by my service so here's the url here's the api provided by this so the url is the complete url uh, till this v2.0 then backslash then this whole url this is the complete url and after that in headers uh, I have set a new connection then after that I have set a new property called OCM API subscription key just copy this subscription key here and after that just set the type of con uh, type of this content as application slash JSON then after that just copy this it just this is the whole code and this is the just the new JSON object in which I have uh, added the question so question is what is hiv because i have added the fact of hiv aids so it would be able to answer this question so after that uh, this is a whole bunch of code if you know android you must be aware of this code so this is just we are just calling this get text method from the background and here are some of the log statement so this log statement will be used to check if the dot if the right data has been returned from our server from our service so here is it this is a log statement in which we are showing the data so after that just go to on click button and make a new object and after that just call it task task dot execute so that's it my friends we have done with it so now just run this app and don't forget to add OCM API and subscription key inside your get text method. So now just wait for some time.
so now as you can see that my project has been built so just go to manifest and make sure that you have added the internet permission here so now I would go to my app and would click this button and clicking this button would just make a call to our a uh, Microsoft service so I have added inside our get text method I have added a log statement to see the return data from our service so the name of that statement log statement is karma so just type karma in android monitor to see the return data so type karma and i can see that it's working so it's running some data so we just asked the question that what is hiv and from its knowledge base is it's returning some answer so our chatbot is ready and you can customize it uh, in the way you want so also the code of this whole project is provided in my github repo so the link is given below in description section so thank you